Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Scott and today I'm going to be showing you how to install brakes on a Grand Sport C7 Corvette. Hi, I'm Jennifer and you're watching the Corvette channel. So guys, we're going to be doing brakes on a C7 Corvette today. That it's a, uh, it's a Grand Sport model that has the larger brakes. Now, this is a 2019 uh, Grand Sport, and the only reason that we're changing the brakes is that most of you probably already know this, is that the brakes have so much dust, the factory ones do, that you drive about 25, 30 miles, and your brakes are, or your wheels are just filthy. It doesn't matter if you have chrome or black, it's just that's the way they are. Um, so, uh, I have a sponsor uh, of uh, the, it's Power Stop Brakes. And originally, we were going to do a, uh, a show for to show off doing C5 Corvette brakes. And we had so many different problems with my equipment. Uh, I had camera failure, I had a lot of different things going on, and I was able to get some footage. And I'm going to show you a little bits and pieces of that just to be able to show it. But our sponsor, Power Stop, had decided to you know go ahead and, and sponsor us. And then I end up with a, a complete brake job, but I didn't end up with any good film to be able to show you guys anything. And, and I, I just wanted to be able to hold, hold up and hold, hold myself accountable for that and to make sure that PowerStop got what they paid for. Um, so what we did is we went ahead and we bought uh, brakes for a C7 that needed to do brakes, and we're gonna go ahead and do the how-to on that one. Uh, again, guys, eventually I will do an, another C5 video when we come across someone that really needs the brakes done on a C5, um, but you know, my word, I, I'm keeping that. I don't, I don't take the sponsorship from somebody and then not give them what they promised, or what I promised them. So, let me just go over all of this now and hopefully you enjoy it and you learn something about it um, and you'll know why you want to change it. If you haven't already experienced this or maybe you're just now getting your car and um, you're going, man, what's going on with the brakes? The first thing you're going to want to do when you get, and it doesn't just, it isn't just the, the Grand Sport, it's not just the Z06, it's all C7s. They come with the Brembo brakes and um, they are just dust monsters. And so I'm gonna show you some pictures of the wheels before I've asked Dave not to clean his wheels, which was driving him nuts, but I wanted to be able to show you what it looks like just after, I think he's only had like a 50 mile drive to get here from his house. And so um, we'll be able to show you the before or before what they are and then what they, what they should look like, okay? Um, so let me just show you here what we've got going on. These are the Z23 uh, brake uh, these are the front brakes, and this right here is the rear brakes that we're going to be putting on the C7 today. Okay, so we're going to go through this whole the whole deal of uh, you know step by step, uh, taking them off, putting them back on, the whole shoot and match, and uh, hopefully you guys will know exactly how to do your brakes when we're done. Okay, now let me put those down for a second, and I'm going to say that. Doing the brakes is probably the easiest you're ever going to do. If you've done brakes in the past, you know that, you know, obviously you know you got to jack up the car, you've got to take the wheels off, which we've already done as you can see. But that's all we've done at this point. Now, it's very, very simple. I don't have my hammer in my hand, but we only have, we're going to use a punch. And the, the punches here, they have, uh, little recesses in the tips, okay? I got this set from uh, from Harbor Freight and it allows for the pins that are here, and I'm gonna show you that in the video. Actually, Terry will show you that in the video here. That you're just gonna put the punch up to that and then you'll be able to hit it with the hammer and and then the punch, the the pins will actually come right out. Now the reason for using the, the punch with the recess tip is, is that the end of the uh, the end of the pins here, they, they're they pointed. So if you tried to do this with a hammer, which you could do, but you're going to damage the caliper, and nobody wants to damage the nice pretty paint on the calipers. So, so you want to use that. You'll put this on there and that will keep, this will allow that point of the pin to go right up inside this, this punch, and then that way you can drive it through. 
Okay. The only other thing you're gonna, you may or may not need, depending on how tight the spring is, you may have to have a pair of pliers of some sort to be able to help you just pull the pin out the back side. And then also on the, now on the Stingray model, which you've probably seen me do, um, the Stingray only has four pistons, so it only has the two pins. On the Grand Sport and the Z06, they have the two pins as well as a center bolt. The bolt has a third, or actually it's not a 13, it's a half inch socket, or a half inch uh, nut at the, on the back side of it that you have to take loose. So those three pins come out, the pads will just slide up and out of there, and, and then we just make a replacement. We're not having, because literally there is probably only a thousand miles on this car, we're, um, we're not have there's no grooving in the in the rotor there's no nothing wrong so we're not we're just changing it just to get rid of the dust um, because uh, uh, power stop brakes there it's a carbon fiber ceramic pad and um, they just don't emit all that dust so it's going to be for a nice clean ride and uh, you know you'll be able to get hundreds of miles out of it before you need the we clean the wheels unlike what we have now where you go 25 feet and you end up with dust all over everything. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump into the video now. Thank you so much uh, for watching this and uh, we'll, um, we're going to jump into the video now. Okay, these here are very simple. There's only this one bolt right here. If you can come over here, Scott, and kind of see it. This, there's only one bolt. That's this right here. And the rest of them are pins. You just knock them out. I'll kind of show you as I go along. I'll show you how to do that. I just take this bolt out just because it's a bolt, take it out first. Okay. That's the bolt. This here, leave it in here for right now because this spring has actually got pressure on it. So we'll leave that alone. I'll get ready to knock these two pins out. It's very simple what we're doing. We're gonna, these have got little nibs on it. I took a nail punch because it's got a little thing. You can take the point of it and just get them started. And then I'll use this drift to knock them the rest of the way. Now the reason we're doing that is that way that the the pin doesn't slip off the, uh, or the punch doesn't slip off the pin and end up chipping your caliper. Once you get one side out, like so, reach up here where this spring is and just push it down and this pin will come right out. Then the other ones will come out just like nothing. This here slides out. Take the brake and pull it out just a little bit and just kind of squeeze it if they're tight. And it'll kind of push them pucks back in there and then you can pull them out. These here are pretty good brakes as far as they're brand new. So it's real easy what we're doing. If they're wore down a lot, you might have to do a little pressure, squeezing and stuff like that. But usually they'll, they're easy, they'll come out. And the brake pad comes out. And we'll pull out the other one. Now what we want to do is we want to clean all this up before we start putting all the new stuff back on. Now again guys, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Take a look at the rotors. This car, like I said, only has about a thousand miles on it. And it's a 2019, almost no miles. Look at all the brake dust. Isn't that crazy? So Terry's just going to wipe this all off. I'm, is what I'm going to do is I, I take these dirty clouds and just clean off all the heavy stuff. And yep. this, this being a relatively new car, this is kind of easy. <laughs> That's why I don't mind cleaning it. This is Scott's job. <laughs> yeah, I usually get to polish all the, all the dirt all the time. If you ever watch our videos, you know that. reason I do this is just nice. While you got things apart, you might as well clean it. And then you're putting them brake pads on. It won't cause this to be like this in, again. Yep. 
So now as we're doing this, uh, Dave is actually taking the wheels out uh, outside the shop and he's washing them back down. Um, and you, depending on how I edit this video, you'll have already seen the inside and how before and afters of what they look like with, with and without the brake dust on it. But um, that's what he's doing out there. So I'm kind of getting the easy job here, getting to hold the camera. Okay, everybody else is doing all the work, so. Everybody um, else. That's right. I mean, I'm not okay, doing much sorry. except holding it, right? You know? <laughs> yep. Yeah, and, I'm sure. You know what? You're lucky I like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know I am. That's for sure. Okay, let me get a clean towel and just kind of do a little final little thing. Okay. These brakes are probably going to be the easiest brakes that you guys have ever changed in your life. If any of you that have done traditional regular car brakes, um, you know, it can be a pain. Bolts don't want to come loose. Um, you know, this, there's just nothing about that. These are very, very simple to do. Um, and, um, you know, they're more like Terry says, oh, these are just like a race car. So they're it's, real easy. You know, they're much, much easier and a lot faster to do. So, you know, don't be intimidated by it. Just take your time. It's uh, it's not not hard at all. They're actually really simple. I enjoy doing stuff like this. The only thing I don't like is I wish these guys would bring their cars with them all steam clean first. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, okay. to install the pads... It's going to be real easy. Uh, we're going to put some grease. I'm going to have Scott because I got these gloves on. So Scott's going to uh, yeah. put grease on each side. You just put them on the ends because this is where they're going to sit. It's, they're going to ride in here. It's where they're going to slide. Okay. So let's go over here and do that. All right. So I've already got the the uh, grease open here well, and I'll just have right Terry here. hold it so we can kind of get this on here. I know you guys don't need to see this part of it, but you know, it's I'll, I'll, well, it, it's these people usually put the grease on the pad where it goes on the puck, right? You don't do them these this that way. So you don't need a whole lot, a little bit, just yeah. enough. I cut this package just a little too. That's okay. We'll let you cut the package. Trying to get some grease out of it there. It'll come. Keep playing with it. All right. Okay. Now, it's like now so. we'll just stick this one right in it. They got wear pads on them. So. Now on the fronts, on the fronts they have wear indicators on both sides because you've got. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. Which right. One, so where it doesn't it goes. doesn't matter. And so you do we'll want to make sure that. Um, that your backing plate is here and that your, uh, that your pinholes are, are in the, they're going to line up on the outside. So you make sure that they're to the outside and not when you first slide them in. All right, let's do the other side of your little grease shot. Okay. You're a real greaser there, Scott. Okay. Let me do this here. <laughs> Get it up there a little bit. Yeah. Now we're only doing bit. this because he wants to keep his hands clean. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Make Terry be the one that gets dirty as usual. There we go. Okay, that's one. One person can do this. I just didn't want to get grease all over everything, that uh, the old dirt and dust and crap. There we go. All right. Just like that. And then you just slide it in just like you did the other one. Okay. Oop, upside down. There we go. Okay. okay. Now, we have these little winglets. These here, this is what actually holds the pins in and keeps pressure on this bolt. It's, it's kind of real easy. In this package, they actually give you new pins. And what did you put them, Scott? They're right there. Right here. Okay. Open my eyes. Anyway, they're two nice new pins. You can actually use the old ones on this car right now it's because it's brand new. So right. we'll put new ones in because they come with it. Yep. Which is a good thing. Yeah. All right, now that we've got the brake pads in place, just take the pin and slide it in and slide it all the way across. This one here, you can just go like that and it'll kind of hold everything in place for a minute. 
The next pin you want to put in, let me clean this up first, is the bolt. I can't believe, look at all the garbage that comes off of this. this is, and he just drove this up to my house. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saying. It's just, it's crazy. Anybody that keeps their, uh, keeps their original brakes, uh, you know, it's got to drive them absolutely nuts. So that's what I'm saying. It's so simple to do this and not, you know, the amount of time you invest in changing the brakes on this is just so worth it to not have to wash them. Okay. This, this pin here has got slides. Here, I'll pull out and show you again. See, it's got flat spots. See how it's flat on one side? You want that when you put this in, so it slides in like so. Okay. Now the next one is you just take your other pin, just take your thumb and push this down. You can feel the pressure. And by putting this in like so, and tap these a little bit to seat them. And check to make sure everything's lined up. Yep. And we'll put that bolt back in, and that's as easy as it is. The reason they got them little slots is so you don't need two wrenches, which is nice. I know, nice, <laughs> right? Yeah, guys, it's just very, very simple. That's what I'm saying. It's well worth the time and energy and money to do this to be able to keep your car looking really nice. This here, it has like, you'll feel a little stop. Just give it a little, a little snug. And you're, that's it. And there we go. We're done with the front. Now we're going to go to the backs. Okay. okay, these here are actually easier in front. There's no bolt. But we do the same process. Just to get that started. Then I take a, this is a smaller punch than what was in the front because these are smaller holes. And you do the same process. It's, same thing. And you take your finger and you push it in and you pull the pins out. The brakes, the new brakes don't come with the pins, so keep them and clean them up. They come with the springs, but not the pins. So we'll put these out. And again, what he's doing, he's just compressing the piston a little bit so he can get the pad out and make room for the new one. And on on the front ones, you have a wear indicator on both sides of the of the road, so on both pads. On the rear, you only have a, uh, a wear indicator on the outside pad. Okay, let me clean these pins up and clean the caliper and we'll start all over again. These, these pins here, you clean them up because you'll reuse these. Most of your braking on your cars especially performance cars, are the front brakes. That's why they're much bigger. Yeah, so a lot of times you'll go through two, maybe even three sets of front pads before you go through a set of rears. Um, and so here he's just wiping all this down just for cosmetics because like I said, you know, Dave's out there washing those wheels and getting them all nice and shiny again. So we want to make sure that the calipers look all nice and pretty. So that's that's why we're doing that. So you could use, you know, like some window cleaner or this is just dust. So that's why he's just using the shop rag just to wipe wipe them down. I know. Get the dimples, right? That's right. Get the dimples. We gotta get yeah, them all get out the there. Dimples. Since Dave's in the car shows all the time, well, maybe we should leave the dimples dirty. Then that way we might win. <laughs> <laughs> I know one thing. Hanging around him, I'll end up being a detail guy. There you go. Because he's into the camera stuff. I, I think I got the raw end of this deal. I know, right? Now, I'm going to do this. Actually, I just wanted Scott to do something. That's why I had him do the front ones. <laughs> he wanted to make sure my hands got dirty. Yeah. See, I got way too much on there. There you go. Because that's all you got to do is just kind of brush or make, like, looks like it's painted on type of stuff. These here, the wear one, goes on the outside, like so. There we go. There you go. This is the spring that holds all this together. 
it'll go in like so. Just kind of slide it behind it. There you go. I'm going to give it a little tap just to keep it from falling out. And go down to the bottom. Line this up through the centers. Press this in. And there you go. I want to go on the other side with a little punch just so I can make sure that I get these seated. Because this is the only thing that holds them in. Okay. And that's it. Okay. And that, guys, is exactly what that's you got to do to be able to change the brakes on a Grand Sport C7. Pretty simple. Very we're not, simple. So we're not going to waste your time by showing you the other side. Um, we showed you one, so you should be able to run with this, and you should be good to go. So thanks for watching. I want to take a second and thank PowerStop Brakes for sponsoring the Corvette channel today. Without your guys' help, we wouldn't be able to do all of these videos. So again, thank you for supporting the channel, and thanks for sponsoring us. So guys, one more thing that we need to cover before we're done, and that's when you go to get in the car after we've completed the brakes, is that you're going to press, you're going to start the car, and you're going to depress the brakes, and the brake pedal is going to go all the way to the floor. You're going to do that a couple of times, and that's going to rebuild the pressure in the brakes and reseat them. Then at that point, what you're going to want to do, there, the instructions are in the box, and you want to follow the braking procedure uh, to the letter. If you do that, you will not get glazing on your pads, and everything will seat in nice and, and really well, and you won't have any issues. So hopefully you guys found this video helpful and informative, and if you did, be sure and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And I just want to thank you all for watching and supporting the channel. And so you guys, thanks again, and you guys have a great night. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. If you like what you saw today, please hit subscribe and hit the like button. Also, be sure to hit that bell so you will be alerted to our next uploads.